Okay. So here is a Net A8. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up. First thing you need to do is to plug it in. Okay, this machine does not have a power switch. I know that's a little strange, but because it's a bare bones minimum machine, they didn't put it on there. We'll probably add one later on. Well, that's the beauty of the machine. You can modify it, change it up however you want. Now, let's say I want to move the gantry um, either up or down or left or right. I just hit the center button. I go to position and I can choose X fast. I'm gonna hit the right arrow. And if you look at the machine, I'm hitting the, the top button here and it's moving it at a pretty rapid rate. Okay. As you can see, I can move it anywhere I want onto the print. And it will actually start there too. Okay. Now if I scroll down to X position, that's going to give me more of an exact way of moving the extruder left and right. Y position, fast, does the same thing, but it's going forwards, forwards and backwards in relation to the front of the machine. And then finally, we have the Z position, which is going up and down. Okay? And that is all within this menu called the position menu, okay? Is we are going to get the extruder in the bed preheated. So when we load in the filament, we get everything set up, um, it's ready to go. So what I'm going to do, this is your the regular user interface. This is the extruder on the left hand side. And the right hand side is the bed temperature. As you can see, they're still warm from the last print, but it's okay. Um, you can scroll down using these up buttons, top and bottom, okay? This tells you how long the 3D printer's been running, how many much 3D printer filament has run through the machine, just basic vitals of the machine. Now, the real stuff that's important to us is when I hit the center button, okay? When I hit the center button, I have a ton of menu options, and this is how I modify things about the machine, select my files and stuff like that. So I am going to go to quick settings, and now to actually make a choice, I'm going to hit the right button right here, hold it down once, and it will go to a new menu. I know that's a little counterintuitive. Usually the center button's the enter button, but in this case, it's the right button. Okay? I'm gonna scroll down until I get to preheat PLA. Okay? So I'm going to select that, hit the bright button again. Now, this is not as instant gratification as we are used to because no icon will appear or nothing will tell us the status of this machine unless we hit this left button right here. Okay, and I hit it once. As you can see, we've gone back to our, our second menu. And I hit it twice, we're back to the main menu. As, as, and as you can see, the temperatures are going up on both the bed and the plate. Okay, now, while that is working, we are going to get our USB drive into the machine. This uses a micro USB, okay and the location of that micro USB is right here. So as you can see, you can see a USB-B connector right there, okay? And we have a micro SD card right there, okay? Right next to it, there's a micro SD slot. And I'm just gonna slide it right into the slot. Okay, and now that is in the machine, but we need to mount that USB into the machine through another option on the 3D printer. 
So what we're going to do right now, and while this is heating up, I'm going to hit the center button again, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to hit SD card. I'm going to hit the right button again, and I'm going to scroll down to mount card, and I'm going to select that. Okay? As you can see, when I hit the bright button, all these other options came up. Okay? I can actually delete the file on here. I can unmount the card, which you have to do every single time when you remove the, the card from the machine, because if it's still communicating to the card, it could erase or damage some of your files on the micro USB or micro SD card. And then there's print file. Okay? We're not going to hit print file right now, but I'll show you how to print the file in a minute. So now what we need to do, we actually need to load our filament into the extruder. So I'm going to zoom out for this one so you can see what's going on here. I have this little A-frame setup right here with an axle right in the middle. Okay, and this is our filament. This is PLA. Um, and it just sits on here and just spins around very slowly as the uh, print continues to print on the machine. Okay, so I have found that this 3D printer works best if you put the filament up high. So right now, what we have been doing is I've been putting the 3D printer filament in this shelf right here. I know it's a little jerry-rigged, but it's okay. I put a binder clip on the machine right here. And then I run the filament through that, okay? Um, now usually what I do is I run it a little bit more this way so it is on center of the machine so there's the least amount of friction possible. Okay, so I'm going to run it right through there. Okay, and now we actually have to put the filament into the extruder. So if we take a look here, there's already some filaments I'm going to get it in a better angle right here so you can see there we go so if you look right here there is a little white bit of filament right there now fancier machines are able to get rid of that filament by pushing it upwards. This machine does not have that feature. So what we will have to do is to go to the extruder option on the 3D printer. So I'm going to come back up here. We're going to hit the center button. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to extruder. And where it says extruder position, we're going to hit the right button again. And oh, maybe I'm wrong. Actually, if you hit the down arrow, it's going to push the filament out for us. As you can see down here, it's doing that for us. So it's going to come out. Okay. And I'm just going to keep on pulling it until the filament comes out. Okay. And now I'm going to go the opposite way. And I'm pushing the top button now. And it's going to hopefully push out all of the white filament that's down at the bottom right now. Which it is. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with the filament. Now what I like to do, I'm going to focus this a little bit. 
I like to cut my filament at an angle. Okay, I'm going to focus that a little bit. See how the filament's at an angle? Okay, that ensures that it's going to feed better into the extruder nozzle. Okay, and now I'm putting it in that hole. The feed hole for the extruder and I'm going to click the top button and now Okay, so this is feeding the filament into the machine, and I'm just holding the filament there while putting down pressure onto the filament, okay? This takes a little bit of time, but the hope is, is that by the time you're done with this, you're going to have a nice little line of filament coming out of the bottom of the machine, okay? And we're just going to keep on doing this and keep on doing this until it comes out of the bottom of the machine. Okay, it takes a little bit of time to do. So uh, I'm going to turn off the camera now and we'll be back in a minute with the results of our extruder loading. Okay, so now what you're seeing right now is the filament coming out of the extruder. Okay. It's going right into the machine and the previous filament we had in the machine was white in a minute you're going to see black filament coming out okay and now you're starting to see that transition from white to black filament and now we know that the filament that we just put in is loaded into the machine and that's a really nice stream of filament that we got going right now um, and that's going to prove to give us really good printing results right there, okay? okay. So now the next thing we need to do is we are going to put tape on our heated bed here. So if I go here, hit the center button, I go to quick settings, I scroll down, disable stepper, now what that has done is it has completely disabled the stepper motors on the machine, okay? And that allows us to move the gantry back and forth on the machine so we can access both sides pretty easily. Now we need to home our extruder since we just disable the steppers okay so I'm going to hit the center button again I'm going to scroll down to quick settings and the first setting underneath back is home all okay so if I zoom out here the machine's moving by itself now okay so it just hit a limit switch here on the left hand side okay there's a limit switch underneath in the back for the bed and then there's another limit switch over here for the Y, okay? So now what we are going to do is we are going to print our file, okay? So I'm going to come down here to SD card. I'm going to scroll over to print file, okay? And now I am going to choose the G code version of this file. Okay, and now as you can see, it has jumped to 215 degrees Celsius, and the bed is already at 60 degrees Celsius, so it's all ready to go. So we're going to wait for this to heat up. And now the machine is going to get ready to print.
So there we go. There's our Dawn diffuser for the air vent right here. It's going to sit right here and then the extruder will actually sit in the center of the um, ring that we see here. Okay, and that's going to put a more steady amount of air onto the extruder. Now we are going to load up the part that we just made onto the 3D printer. As you can see here, there's tons of these little holes around. The air from this fan motor right here is going to go through this channel right here, this duct, okay, and then it'll just spread out and diffuse itself around the extruder, and that will cool down any PLA that comes out of the extruder, okay. Um, this is, I already tested this, this is actually a really good fit. That's probably one of the best parts I've printed for fit ever. There's our extruder nozzle right there. There's the ring that we just made. And as you can see, it sits just above the tip of the extruder. And as the extruder moves around, it's going to cool any of the filament that comes out. Okay, that's the part that we just made there. Now to finish off our tutorial, we're going to hit unmount card. Okay, and this will unmount the card and make it safe to remove the SD card right here. Okay, now we're going to hit the left button again and left button, or actually up the up button, up arrow, and we're going to go to quick settings. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to hit cool down with the right hand key and it's actually going to cool down the machine. Okay, so as you can see, it's cooling down.